Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi everybody, uh, Pastor Everett. So excited to, uh, to be talking to you tonight. Um, I just want to bring a, a, a little verse to you uh, from the 28th chapter of the book of Matthew. And in verse 17, um, it, it brings out a, a, a question and uh, uh, it says there, it says, And when they saw him, talking about Jesus, after Jesus was raised from the dead, after he had suffered and died, when they saw him, it says, they worshipped him. And then there's a colon there and it says, but some doubted. And I just want to talk to you for a few moments about, about doubt, about the feeling we have inside of us when we just don't believe things. You know, like, uh, I, I believe that you're my friend, but I got a little doubt inside. And, and, and I, I just think it's kind of crazy, though, if we could put ourselves, because we have the privilege to look back at the disciples and we go, man, if I was a disciple, if I was a fo uh, around when Jesus was walking on earth, man, I would have believed when I saw him come and uh, walk up to me like that. But the, 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 that whole idea that I would believe, but, but some didn't, is really, uh, is still true today because we, we go to church, you know, you got that friend, you got that friend that goes, that goes to church all the time, but you know, the prayer warrior, the one that's always praying for you, the one that's uh, got that joy in their heart, the one that's always joyful, and you just go, ah, you know, I just, I just don't feel that inside. And, and, and so sometimes when we feel like that, we begin to project that out onto other people. And I'm here to tell you today that, that Jesus is still alive. He's just as alive today as he was way back then when people saw him, but still doubted. And, and so I don't think it's something we should be afraid of. When we, when we doubt, because we have doubts, we, we do, we, we have questions and we, we doubt things all the time. We doubt, you know, whether or not it's going to be okay. Like, like is, uh, is this relationship going to be all right? Is, is, are my, my kids going to turn out right? You know, are they going to be okay? You know, and, uh, and so we try to control things. And that's when, when we begin to doubt because we really don't have the power to really control anything. Uh, we can't even control our own, our own attitude sometimes. We can't control, you know, how people are, what people are going to say or what they're going to do or, or the financial market or the, you know, whether, what, their opinions, okay? We're, we're not, we, can't, we can't control anything. So that's when the doubt starts to creep into our life, into our relationships. It, that, that's just a really, a, it's almost a cancer that comes into us. And, and can, can I just take some, a moment in time and just speak to that doubt? Because here's what happens. When we doubt, when we have that little doubt inside of us, we, we really, we're not living by faith then. We're not, we're not living by, let me just change that word from faith to trust, okay? Because do you really trust that God has posi positioned you properly? He's put you in the right place, you know? Like, like I, I'm on this, this job for a reason, you know? Ha, do, do you really believe that God is working in your life? Do you really believe the power of God is still there to change you? And... And so if I could take my doubt and turn it into faith or turn it into trust, I would become something more than what I already am. I, can I just give you a glimpse of what that more looks like just for a second? Because Jesus says, and this is verse 17, but I didn't read to you verse 18, but I'm going to. It says, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power. And, 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 and <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but when I, when I just read that word, all power, I have to think about all of the things I don't have the power to do, Jesus has the power to do, okay? He has all power. Like, there's nothing, nothing that he can't do, nothing that he can't change, nothing that he can't see, nothing that he can't feel. And so I, I begin all caught up in all these feelings and these emotions and these things that I can't do or sometimes there's things that I can do that I just do because I think I should do them when really I should be trusting 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 is something that takes faith because I have to have faith that God is going to do something 
I can't do. And so he says, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. We can, we can believe that God has all power in heaven. Jesus has all the power of heaven. And then he says, and in earth. And, in, and we stand here like, ah. And we don't know what to do with that statement because we're still struggling. That's where joy gets taken away out of our life because we, we struggle to do things and accomplish things and we, we, we're task driven. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I have a task and I, it's A to B and I, I know that I got to go do, 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 do to get that task done. And if I don't go all the way through all of those things, I'll never get anything done. And so I want to get that done, all right? I want to work through this. I want, to, I want to walk it out. I want to do all those things. But the real power comes from Him, comes from above. All power in heaven and earth. I wonder how many relationships would change and be transformed if we started trusting God. <laughs> Not, not trying to manipulate the person. If we just trust God with, with the, whatever that's going to look like, you know, maybe that person would leave. Maybe that circumstance. And see, we, we want to control that. And that's, that's really not what God wants. He wants us to trust and not doubt. I wonder if you could say that with me. I need to practice trusting <laughs> and not doubting. I wonder if you could say it again. I need to practice trusting and not doubting. I, I, I can't even go anywhere if I don't trust, right? I don't trust that the car's going to start. I don't trust the tires on the ground. I don't trust the steering wheel. You know, I don't trust the seat. You know, if I didn't trust anything, I'd, be, I'd end up stuck in some basement somewhere. I'd be stuck and I'd be scared to even open a door. I'd be scared to say hi. I'd be scared to, to answer the phone. I'd be scared of I can say all those things because I've been scared. Every time the phone rang, I'd be scared to answer it because I didn't know what they were going to say. And so, so that's not what God is asking us to do. He says, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. Jesus paid the price to have the power. We can receive that gift, Jesus, free of charge. I, I think, I don't know about you, but isn't, it's, isn't it easy to give something away? Have you ever received something? Someone walked up and gave you something and you didn't really want it. And you just put it aside. And you know, three, four years later, you looked over and you saw that gift and you were like, you're like, ah. And you gave it away or you threw it in a garbage can or something. And see, that's how we treat, that's how we treat the gift that Christ gave us. We discard it. We set it on a shelf. We, we don't walk into that relationship. We're not, we're not excited about being in His presence anymore. We, we've got our own agenda and plan. And Jesus wants us to get excited that He has all the power. I, I, wanna, I don't know about you, but I want to tap into what He has for my life. I want to walk in that power. I want to walk with Him. Amen? And I always said, I said this before. I said I'll say it again because I, that's what I do. But I don't want Jesus to go walk with me. I want to go walk with Jesus. And there's two different dynamics going on there. One is in control, and the other one isn't. And I want Him to be in control of my life and of my circumstances, of my relationships, my 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 life truly does belong to Him. Because he truly is my life. Maybe we should just pray together right now. Because I, I don't know about you, but I, I just feel like there's this, there's this somebody, somebody that just wants to control everything. Somebody just wants to make everything work out the way they want it to work out. And, and maybe that's just me, but I think it's somebody else today that just needs to release something today. And so we're going to pray together right now. And we're going to just trust God and not doubt. Amen? So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that you come and touch us from the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Father, that you would change what we try to manipulate inside of us. Lord, that you would change that 
need to control every circumstance and every relationship and every outcome, Lord, that we, we try to control how people see us and don't see us and how they speak to us and how they don't speak to us. We try to control all of those things. But Father, we know that ultimately you are in control because all heaven and all earth, all the power of all those places belongs to you. And so, Father, we give you the right to change us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want you to do, do one more thing, okay? I want you to just go like this. Just take, take it. I'm, I'm a visual person. I don't know, maybe you're not a visual person, but this really helps me sometimes. When I have a circumstance going on and I'm trying to control something really hard, I just want to put it in my hand, and then I just want to go, I'm not in control anymore. So just take it in your hand and just go like this. I'm not in control anymore. Say it again. I'm not in control anymore. And I want you to say that as often as you need to right now. I'm not in control anymore. And I want you to reference this point right now, this moment in time. I agree with Pastor Everett. I agree with what's going on. This is how we're going to get a breakthrough in our life when we start releasing stuff we've been hanging on to for so long, when we start releasing stuff that we've been trying to control, when we start releasing stuff that we don't really have the power to do anything about anyways, that's when you get a breakthrough. And so I pray a breakthrough comes into your life right now. From this day forward, you remember this day and, and you release stuff to him. Amen? Start releasing your kids. Amen? Start releasing your business. Start releasing your finances. Start releasing them relationships. Start releasing some past hurts. Start releasing some expectations. And let, the heavens, let heaven's power, let the power of Jesus Christ transform your life. That's, that's, that's a breakthrough. Woo! And so I, I just want to connect with you. So wherever you are, whatever platform you're watching us on, if you could just go to my breakthrough, that's one word, dot online. That's our website. You can like, subscribe us. Uh, we have a prayer wall there. We have a... Uh, a, a shop you can help support the church uh, by buying some uh, you know t-shirts or whatever and uh, we just want to connect with you uh, and so leave a comment leave a message and uh, share this message with a friend it's a short message just put it post it up on social media and just tag us at Breakthrough Church we'd like to connect with you and uh, we really want we really believe here at Breakthrough Church that God is going to do something really big not just in a local market, but in a global thing, okay? We, we feel like God is going to, God has called us to the world. Go ye therefore into all the world, teach, preach, make disciples, teach them everything that I taught you and, and, and show them, okay, by the way we live that out. And so we believe that God is doing that through Breakthrough Church and we're excited that you're a part of it and we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you real soon. Amen. God bless you.